Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. Alright, in the last episode, we doubled our domain size uh, by taking Altklut, uh, Istrad Iwerthon, and uh, Epithant from, uh, well, these two from a Waldensian Uprising, and this one from Pictland. Um, of course, that means that we need to proselytize in these two counties so that we don't get an uprising of our own. And uh, I think that I also want to settle tribes so that this Pictland county becomes uh, um, Welsh, and I'll do that over there as well. Hopefully we can get that before um, uh, before we become uh, 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 a merchant republic. Now, unfortunately, it is going to be expensive to become a merchant republic since I have to upgrade this fully, which, uh, you know, I kind of did down here. Um and have ended up not really using it. Uh, well, and I'm going to move my capital up here, so... Eh, it's going to be iffy. Um, now, I did think of a way that I can get money, and that is by toggling looter, going out here, and I feel like someone is not doing something. No? No? Oh yeah, he's down in Constantinople, that's right. Um, let's go ahead and... Uh, I did toggle looter. He's going over there. And when I'm done here, I'll go down to Cumberland and bring out the boats, since I now have ships. Uh, and I can just move along down here. So uh, let's get back to it. I need the money. Not sure exactly how much I'm getting there. Uh, 0.52. Okay. Can I... I don't know that it's really worth looting. Ooh, it's pretty. It's burning. Oh. Elude has become a uh, court chaplain for, uh... Quick. Oh, don't die. Have more kids so that uh, there will be more uh, dragons controlling Quick. Uh, maybe that'll even become Welsh. Although probably not, since they're probably getting them educated by other people. Anyway, um, let's just uh, head down here. Uh, we'll go ahead and bring out the boats. And I can actually just move down along here. Um, and keep looting until these guys... Uh, until this war ends, basically. Being around Olwen makes me feel calm and satisfied. The contentedness of her is contagious, and all the world's trouble seems less frightening. I feel less stressed. Thank you. You know what? I should probably also switch back to business focus and go for more money and prestige. I am a doubly... No. Truce breaker. Truce breaker and known murderer. Uh, expel the Jews and known murderer. Which, of course, took my diplomacy down. Uh, it's good times. Let's go back to business. I want money. Alright, so we are looting 1.45 every four days. Uh, it's carrying loot. It's pretty awesome. Can't loot anymore, but let's go ahead and just uh, siege this down, I suppose. Ah! Oh, there's a Waldensian uprising up here again. Oh, that is beautiful. You have been imprisoned. Um, Genoa is uh, revolting. I don't care about you guys. Um, you are still leading the Friulian revolt. Not anymore! Oh, honey, come to my court. Excellent. And my prestige just completely got destroyed. Oh, well. My daughter was born to Grigor. She's not a genius, though. It's disappointing.
Um, my liege, I am pleased to report the success of my mission to Istra de Orthon. The majority of the population has been converted to the Catholic faith. Your humble court chaplain, Bishop Sion of Tigwin. Excellent! And the Pope likes me more, and I've gained 15 piety. Well, in that case, um, you, get over there. Start converting that county. And you guys, win, please. Oh, please win. And you keep this war, this war going. Make it go a long time. There's another revolt over there. You have died. You know what? I don't care about you guys anymore. Stop watching you. There we go. Alright, that's uh, captured. Alright, taking that. Let's go down there. How is this going with the... Uh... It's 19% already. Alright, we are looting 1.7 every four days. A market town has been built. Got 21 gold out of that. Alright, uh, I can afford to boost this up again. Let's go ahead and do that. I'd like to boost that up once as well. Yeah, oh, they're Vikings. Might have to murder the Vikings when I get down there. Eleanor is now of legal age. She became a fortune builder. Mm. Well, let's go matrilineal marriage. Do you have any good traits? Any good people? Well, there is a, well, there is a holy warrior. I could take him if that one works out. Um, I could go for this uh, Saxon guy. He's Midas touched. Holstein, Baden, Upper Lorraine, Alsace, Alemannia, Schwaben, Ulm, Furstenberg. <laughs> that is a lot. Oh, or we could go for this guy. He's Grey Eminence, 21. Sure. Holy crap, look at all those siblings. That's like a... That's like my family. Oh, you're heir to the Duchy of Upper Burgundy, though. Oh, let's go. Let's go with that. <laughs> so we're carrying 53. We're uh, almost half full there. I accept that suggestion. And you know what? This guy is a lot better. Then Grigor, so there you go. Uh, fabricate claims right there. I want that land. You know what? This is not actually getting into my uh, coffers right now, so let's uh, head home. All right, a fleet bearing some loot has returned from raiding. King Ald the Black gains 53.58 gold and 53.58 prestige. Oh, that is beautiful. And I got technology. Uh, come on, economy. No, I don't know what I got. Whatever. Alright, let's get back out there. Alright, this is, this is going to be a great way of getting money and prestige. At least for a little while. When the hot cautery touched the open wound, I couldn't hold the scream back. I cursed the doctor, who only laughed. Told me to take it easy and not to pick on the wound. Why, I ought to... How did I get wounded? Ald asks, if a tree falls in the woods and there's nobody there to hear it, does it make a noise? You should concentrate on something useful instead. Come on, diligent. Yes. Fantastic. This is a big holding. Maybe I, uh, holy crap. There goes all of that uh, money and prestige. Knowledge of siege equipment is increased. 
This is 55%. Maybe uh, I'll declare this war when it gets close to ending so that I can keep these things going as long as possible. Oh, man. Oh, man. Pictland is getting demolished. This is so beautiful. The opportunities. Let's make lots of money. Excellent! Debase the mints with less precious metals for profits. Ha <laughs> ha! Score! That's at 60% now. That's almost done. Come on. There we go. Oh, hey. Can I... Lover's Pox, Adulteress, in the dungeon. Can I ransom you? No. Well, you know, she might just uh, have to stay in the dungeon then. In that case. Let's actually double check why. No interest. Well. 28.82 gold. Not bad. That uh, does go into the ship there. Okay. Um, and I am back to looting here. Uh, one point... Okay, yeah, let's, uh... Let's actually go ahead and assault that. Why not? Ow. At 48 gold. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh, that is... I think I'm going to be t- Aww, oh, an imbecile. I think I'm going to be uh, going on a little war up there pretty soon. What is the war score at? 64%. Looks like he must have defended one of, the defended one of these off. I don't know how he managed that, but... 90 gold in there, 92. Apparently, one of the courtiers has been annoying my wife, Rashildis. And instead of asking me for help, she took the matter in her own hands and made sure the courtier would never annoy her again or know the consequences. What on earth was she thinking? Uh, she did the right thing. Yes, I want her to like me. We want the babies. Uh, let's see, how much is this going down? 13%? Yeah. There, it's, that war is at 65%. Sixty-seven percent. Market city has been built in Altklut. All right, that's gonna. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get all of that. All right, let's see. Can I make it back? Okay. Get out again. Damn it! I think I lost that. Yeah, I didn't get that. Whatever. All right, we'll go down there. Uh, let's see. 65. Oh, I think he uh, he made a, uh, a move. That's good. Uh, he pushed back a little bit. How are we doing up here? That's 65% as well. Can't loot now. Uh, 590. Well, I guess we'll sit here and, and eat that up. Ooh. Oh, man. I am not going to be able to get all of that. 66%. Lies do hurt people. The truth? I think I can handle the truth. You can't handle the truth! Truth shall set me free. I lose the trait deceitful. Hey, people are going to like me more. The Pictish populace in Istrad Iwerthon have embraced Welsh culture. Civilized peasants? With the foreign rulers come foreign influences. The local culture in the province of Istrad Iwerthon has evolved over time into something new, and the people living there are no longer referred to as Picts. They're Pictish now. Uh, what? Wait, what? God 
Supposed to be Welsh. Damn it. Uh, I don't actually need you there anymore. Um, let's head you down there. Ooh, 63. He's he's pushing back. This is this is great. I love this. Oh, I'm just looting forever. It's great to loot right around here. It's going to be difficult when I uh, move down here though. Oh, whoops, I was paused. And Ald Abguidian is now of legal age. Became a brilliant strategist. Excellent. All right, and betrothed can marry. Fantastic. He accepts the suggestion. She has arrived in my court. Beautiful. And a technological bonus. Oh, things are going really well. Uh, culture advance, though. How is this going? 92%. It looks like, so, I think the King of Pictland, he's probably going to get bumped down here, unless these don't count as uh, um, occupied, mm, excuse me, enough. Um, I hope so, because uh, I hope they don't get just these two. And a daughter was born to Oswald. Okay. Uh, sickly and a stutter. Disappointing. A son was born. Oh, yeah, because... Uh, can I legitimize her? Nope, because she's not my kid. Ah, uh, whatever. Alright, we're just about there to loot that one, and you have been uh, imprisoned. Can I ransom you? Nope. I think you're going to be staying in my dungeon. Only eight gold. Oh, it's terrible. What, uh, do we care about these? Well, there is a city, but uh, let's see. 923. This is going to take a while. <laughs> All of those are still burning. It's great. I love it. <laughs> That's still burning. <laughs> uh, okay, good. They are working on that one. That's good. Because I could get that whole uh, duchy right there. Um, you want to have a daughter. Fifty-nine percent. This is moving back in uh, um, our favor, which is really good for us. The longer that war goes on, the more opportunity we have for awesomeness. You've decided to introduce a new law to the good people of the realm, as is your right as their ruler. Now you just have to decide on its contents. The Hole in the Wall Act. I like it. Give the order to implement the Hole in the Wall Act. The new law has been written, and couriers have even now distributed, are even now distributing it to all of your vassals. You admire your handiwork. Whereas the positive effects of fresh air is known to all, and whereas the, the movement of the wind must not be obstructed by man-made structures, therefore I, King Ald of Manau, Decree that all homesteads throughout the realm are to have two holes, each no smaller than a grown peasant standing with arms outstretched, in opposite walls facing each other, to allow free passage of the wind. These holes are not to be covered by planks, windows, doors, or cattle. Cattle? <laughs> if any member of the household is known to exhibit severe flatulence, the holes shall number three and no less. And the number of the holes shall be three. This law will bring salvation to the realm. 
<laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, it's great. All right, we have looted 41 gold. Oh, nice. 414, all right. We are losing a lot of troops through this, but uh, how much does this have? 67? All right, let's uh, jump back, get 60, well, 69. Ah, ah, ah. Wow. Oh, man. Oh, he's a flanker and a light foot leader. I, I just need to take a moment to look at this. Pictland has been reduced to that, 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 that. And that. <laughs> oh man. Oh. Almost feel bad about it. Almost. But just almost. <laughs> oh, how many troops does he have? 2,000. That is a lot. Uh, I might want to hold off until I'm done looting. No one's going to be declaring... No one can really declare war on him. I do have a claim over here in Ulster. Uh, so I'll do that at the, about the same time. Sulian de Teguin, the husband of my lover Arthen, shocked me by asking me to, to my face if we're having an affair. The vile prude! I will kill him! Uh, flatly deny. Um, do I care about her? I haven't had any kids, but no. Flatly deny. I don't care if he hates me. The furious Sulian does not accept my profuse denials and has challenged me to me to a duel to determine my guilt, my guilt, and that of his wife, my lover, Arthen. Challenge accepted. A duel? What farce? What mummery? I am no fighter. Beg forgiveness. Um, refuse to duel. General opinion minus ten. You know what? I don't care. I'm not going to duel with that. <laughs> I'm not going to risk dueling right now. That's a peasant revolt. Uh, these guys could come up and attack me. Oh, look at that. Look at that color. <laughs> oh, so, I could declare war... For Albin, for those three territories. For Triu, for those three. Or Lothian for that one. Let's see, that would be a really good county to get. These aren't too bad either. Um, but I will probably go for Albin, just to split them up a little bit. But uh, we're going to hold off on that uh, until we're done looting and replenishing our cash. Oh, this is a beautiful thing to use the, these uh, event spawn troops for. 50 gold! Wow. And there's still one left. We'll see if uh, anyone goes to war with him. Alright, Child Lacks a Guardian. Let's go ahead and fix that. Uh, not a brilliant strategist for a daughter. Let's, uh, or a, um, a young woman. Um, let's continue to go with her, I think. She loves me. <laughs> I am looting. Uh, ooh. Lancaster Revolt. It's carrying 57 gold. And I have looted 19 gold there. I lost a counselor. Did you die? I don't know. 
Proselytize. Wow, those instantly converted? Oh, I didn't know that happened. That must be what happens when you when they uh, uh, fully occupy. Oh man, that is going to be tough for us if we go after those counties. Um, would actually be a better reason to go after them. Hmm. Oh, damn! Boom! Just right there. Epithand is converted. Excellent. Um. I can't move you, can I? Because, you know, I'd, I'd like to just go build zeal at this point. <laughs> um, cannot loot. We've completely looted this one, so let's move over there. My steward Sulian is pleased to report that Istrad Urthon has been settled with many good Welsh families. The locals, though initially resistant, have started to adopt our language and customs. Sulian is always reliable. Fantastic. Let's move over there now. I am going to have to go after them that soon. Alright, I am looting 1.71 there. I feel a little bad looting Welsh territory, but... Ooh, this guy is almost full. Cannot loot. Let's go ahead and dock. Excellent. Um, they've raised up troops, which uh, I may just want to, at this point, turn around and come home then. I've got 495 gold. Let's go ahead and uh, build that up. Um, I would like to get another hundred, uh, prestige. Actually at war with anyone yet? Nope. Good. I'm going to be beating them for quite a while, I think. Um... Wait, who is... Oh, Vestfold is occupying that. Uh, they, they, uh... I must have looted, too. Uh, even though the, he's at war with them. Hmm. Well, it is January 3rd, 809. I think this is probably a good place to, uh call it an episode. In the next one, we will continue to loot. Um, I'm tempted to go after this army. Uh, and then continue looting here, because that'll make uh, this territory a little bit easier to loot. Um, and then we will uh, refocus up here. Uh, this war is down to 46%. Um, but it is hanging on. Uh, if I see it really getting bad, I might just uh, go ahead and declare wars. Um... But we shall see. Alright, in the next episode, uh, we will continue to uh, gather territories before we actually have to... Uh, um, uh, before we actually create our Merchant Republic. See you all in the next episode.